It's field trip day at the Ancient History Museum. The kids walk through displays of Egyptian artifacts that are thousands of years old, listening to a tour guide tell them crazy facts about the ancient Egyptians, like how they believed that half the soul of a dead pharaoh would stay in the pharaoh's mummy forever. Sometimes, when a particularly powerful pharaoh would die, his guards would be killed too, to protect the pharaoh's tomb for all of eternity. There were all sorts of curses that would fall on anyone stupid enough to annoy or disturb the tomb. The class all listen with rapt attention, all except for one boy in the back, who cracks jokes, Ooh. yawns in boredom, and worst of all, touches the ancient artifacts. The boy nearly tips over a priceless statue, causing the tour guide's eyes to flare with anger. But then, instead of yelling at the boy or kicking him out, the guide gets a wicked smile and leads the class to the entrance of a dark room with a sign that says, Closed. Authorized personnel only. While looking straight at the boy, he warns the group not to go into that room no matter what and moves the tour to the next area, but now missing one member. Once he's sure the coast is clear, the boy ducks under the sign and sneaks into the dark, musty room, only to discover that it's filled with more dumb old Egyptian statues. The disappointed boy is about to leave when he hears a skittering across the floor. He follows the sound through a labyrinth of statues until he hears the skittering coming from just ahead. He takes a deep breath and turns the corner to see just another stone statue. An ancient guard with a spear in his hand and a cat at his feet. Boring! The boy is about to turn away, but then he notices something. Unlike the statue in the other room, the ancient guard hasn't crumbled at all. In fact, the guard's angry face is in such perfect condition and so lifelike that it looks almost like a real person staring down at the boy in rage. The boy goes in for a closer look, but when he does, he hears a hiss and feels burning pain in his leg. The boy falls to the ground in pain. He's eye level with the stone cat scratching him. The boy screams and looks up in horror as the giant guard's eyes open and its giant stone arm rises, raising the spear. The boy dodges out of the way, just missing the spear. He jumps up and runs for the exit. But now two giant statues of Egyptian guards block his way. He turns to look for another way out. And that's when he sees them. <gasps> Statues of warriors and priests, kings and queens, even ancient gods are all now staring at him, their eyes blazing red. They start moving towards him, closer and closer and closer. The boy slowly backs away, his eyes never leaving the lurching statues. Just as they're almost to him, he trips backward through an open door, landing on rags. A janitor's closet, he thinks, and shuts the heavy door. He takes a deep breath, and that's when he notices the smell. It smells like burnt rubber and decomposing trash. He tries to look around, but he realizes that the place is too small to move. With mounting horror, he grabs his phone and turns on the flashlight. That's when he realizes what those rags are. A mummy. He's in a sarcophagus. The boy pushes at the door, but it won't budge. He uses the phone's light to look for some sort of latch, and that is when a raggedy, bony hand reaches out from behind him and crushes the phone into dust. The boy is plunged into darkness. He tries to scream, hoping the kids on the field trip will hear him, but the raggedy hand covers his mouth. The boy is powerless. He can't scream. He can only listen in dread as he hears faintly in the distance a tour guide telling the rest of the class more about mummy's curses and how anyone caught disturbing or bothering a mummy's tomb was cursed to be trapped with them forever.